So you finished writing a book and you want to do everything in your power to market it to the public. On Twitter and Facebook, you've noticed some authors post book trailers and you're intrigued by the concept. You do some poking around looking for someone to put together a book trailer for you, but the cost is a little worrisome. Should you make the investment to give your book the best launch possible? Let's take a look at the required return on investment if you sell your ebook for $0.99, cents, $2.99, or even $3.99. How many copies must you sell in order to make the cost of the trailer back? I'll use the Starcross Seamstress at about 83,000 words as an example. If I sold the Starcross Seamstress for 99 cents, it would take 200 sales to break even on a modestly priced book trailer costing $70. If I sold it for $2.99, its current price, it would take 36 sales to break even on the same book trailer. If I sold the book for $3.99, it would take only 26 sales to break even. Unfortunately, I don't think $3.99 is a good price point for that novel, so that would depress sales. $70 is a modestly priced book trailer, but I know some authors spend a lot more. From my own personal experience, I don't think any of my book trailers have led to the sale of a single copy. In the author groups I frequent, the consensus seems to be that you shouldn't spend a great deal on book trailers because their usefulness as a marketing tool is negligible. One of my author friends, who spent a princely sum on a book trailer, concurs. Nobody has given a definitive answer on why that should be so, but it may have something to do with the way readers select their next book. They're used to glancing at covers and skimming blurbs and reviews and simply may not have the inclination to watch a trailer. Of course, your mileage may vary. If you have your heart set on paying for a book trailer, go for it. You might be wondering why most of my books and audiobooks have trailers. That's because I put them together myself. I enjoy doing them and I have them available for fans who might enjoy watching them. I don't do trailers to sell books, but to give my author brand a little more breadth. On the other hand, I think the five minute videos that I put together for my audiobook samples may be a little more effective as a marketing tool. People seem to enjoy those, but finding footage for a video that length is a challenge. How do you put videos and trailers together on a budget? Pixabay has a very nice selection of photos, illustrations, vectors, videos, and now music, absolutely free. I also have a subscription to Envato Elements. For less than $200 per year, I have access to all manner of goodies, such as stock videos, photos, fonts, sound effects, and music clips. If you sign up on the mailing list for stock sites such as Deposit Photos, Shutterstock, 123RF, Big Stock, and iStock Photos, they will occasionally offer deep discounts on their images, often around Black Friday or after Christmas. I use iMovie to put together my videos and trailers, which is a drag and drop method of creating videos. For example, here's a glimpse from the book trailer for Something Wicked in LA. It took me a little while to learn how to use iMovie, but it's really not difficult. Also, if you have Adobe Creative Cloud and can learn how to use After Effects, there are some spectacular special effects available on the regular Envato Market site. If you can put together a trailer at minimal cost, you can test out its marketing efficacy for yourself. Keep book trailers short, no more than 30 to 45 seconds if possible. Remember, you're selling the sizzle and not the steak. Have your trailer capture the essence of your book and resist the temptation to make your book trailer into a book report. For me, I enjoy creating trailers and videos. I think the process is fun and it gives me a welcome break from writing all the time. I like having fun, don't you? Talk to you soon. If you like my sizzle, don't forget to like and subscribe.